What is up everybody? I hope you're having a great day. My name is Thomas and welcome to iPhone for Seniors, a free YouTube series aimed at educating older adults more about iPhones. Today we're going to be discussing how to download apps. We're going to walk you through how to open the App Store, find an app you want to download, and finally download the app so that you can enjoy it on your phone. Okay, so downloading apps is actually a pretty simple process. The first step is to open up the App Store, basically the online marketplace where you can search for and download both paid and free apps and games. So the App Store is on your home screen. It's just a blue icon with a stylized A inside it, and you're going to open it. And when you open the App Store, you'll be greeted with the Today tab. The Today tab basically goes over Apple's features for the day's apps and games. You can browse through it and click on the little tiles. And they usually include a little description about each app and a little feature and you can download it. But what if you want to download a more specific app? Say Google for example. Well to do that you'll need to open up the search tab by clicking the search button on the bottom right corner with the little magnifying glass. Then in the search bar you'll type the name of the app you want. We want to download Google and you'll hit search. And of course now we see Google, Google Chrome, and to figure out which one we want, we can just tap on where it says Google, and it will show more information. It shows an app description, shows some pictures, and it shows all sorts of ratings and reviews. And then to go back to the search tab, maybe you want to look at Google Chrome, you just tap the little back button that says search in the top left corner. And now we can tap on Google Chrome. And here we can see the same description the app pictures and the ratings and reviews. But now that we've chosen one, in this case I'm just going to download Google, how do we actually download it? Well when you download an app, you'll see one of two icons. Either you'll see this icon that says get, or it may have a price in it like $3.99 or $2.99, or you'll see this little icon that looks like a cloud with a download button. When you see the get button or the $2.99, $3.99, or whatever the price of the app is, it means that you've never downloaded the app before and you'll need to authenticate with your password. So when you press the Get button to install your app, you'll usually be prompted for either a passcode, a fingerprint, or to double click the power button and do a Face ID scan. So in my case, I have a Face ID compatible device and I'm being prompted to double click the power button and it's now going to scan my face and it approved my facial recognition scan and so it's downloading the app. As you can see right there, there is a loading bar. Now the second type of icon you may see looks like a cloud with a little down arrow. This basically means that you've already downloaded that app before so you don't need to enter your password before downloading. You can just tap the button and boom, it's downloading. Now once an app is downloaded, you'll see a little open button next to that app and you will also see that app on your home screen as we can see right here. So now I can just open the app and use it however I enjoy. Alright guys, if you're still here, please do hit the subscribe button and be sure to tap the notification bell if you want to know whenever we upload a new iPhone for Seniors episode. And before we end the video, I'm going to give one final tip. Alright, so my final tip before I end this video is I want to just quickly show you how to download apps that you've already downloaded in the past. So you're going to want to open up the App Store and you're going to want to make sure that you're on the Today tab. And in the top right corner of your screen, you should see your profile photo, which you can tap. And you'll pull up this little account tab. Here you can press Purchase, and you can tap My Purchases. And as you can see, these are all of the apps that I've downloaded in the past. And I can easily download one just by clicking the Download button and it will download to my device. Alright everybody, I really do hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, please make sure to leave a like. And if you have any questions or comments or concerns, please just let me know in the comments. I do read them and reply to all of them. So I hope you have a great day, and I hope to see you in the next iPhone for Seniors episode coming out on Tuesday. Uh, see you then. Have a great day. Bye.